what is up, Dog Bunchu fam? Welcome back to another NFL Week 10 of the NFL season. Well, the Week 10. Um, I started new from last week. It happened. You guys might we know what it is. Why I'm happy. Um, but before we get into that, smash that subscribe button. Turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post because, guys. It's that time of year, and there's a lot of videos coming your way. Blog making starting soon, you know, all that good stuff. Comment down below what you're excited for this time of season. And also, comment down below if you guys have snow, or you have time to show in the 30, 49, 25, because it's cold. All right, with that being said, let's get right into this. We kind of NFL football. Let's see who's going to talk about on top, and who's going to... Be at the bottom. So last night game was against the Charger versus the Raider, and it was a good game. They the, the team only won by two points, and it was in the high 20s. So it was a good game. Two points. That's a good game. That's a close game. But unfortunately, the Chargers did not came out on top. The Raider did. So the Raider won that game. Then we're heading to Sunday. Who do we have playing Sunday? Oh, the first game on the list. Buffalo Bills are going to Cleveland, Ohio to take down the Cleveland Browns. And let's just say this. Buffalo should win. Because without their defense. We got seven, seven Sinatary or Wussy running back fast. He, he's having a really good Wussy season and he's he just done a dip battle. Like, this is not even at his potential yet. He can get way better than that. Josh Allen been improving so much. We have wide receivers that are making that connection with Josh Allen that help a lot. So I think Buffalo will win. And the good thing is, if Buffalo win on Sunday, which we should be, we will be one day behind the Patriots, the Cheeto Pass. Like, whoa! One day behind the top Brady in the Patriots. Because the Patriots not on the field anymore. They lost last week. They have a bye week this week, but they they lost last week. So we are gonna be one day behind them if we win this Sunday. Like so let's go Buffalo. Go to the wagon. Then we head into the Detroit Lions versus the Chicago Bears. This is gonna be a good game. Both of the team this is gonna be a good mashup. But I think the Charter Bears gonna get their fourth win. And yeah, but it's gonna be a close game. It's gonna be a tight. It's gonna be so tight that any team can win. Then we head into the Baltimore Ravens for Mars Jackson, who actually, they're the one who beat the Patriots. Let's give them a hot round of applause with them. Lamar Jackson and Buffalo Raven, nice job. And they're throwing up against a pretty not so good team. The last team in the NFL that are 0 and 8. They have not won a game. It's a Cincinnati Bengals. So it's going to be an easy week for Baltimore Raven to get the win. So Baltimore Raven's going to win. And I'm so happy with them right now because they took out Tom Brady and the Patriots because. And not only that, they beat up on them so hard. Brady was, Brady got beat up. Then we head into the ten, the Tennessee City Chief versus the Tennessee Titans. The one good thing about this team is I could get my starting quarterback on my fantasy team back this week. He, he went past the team, he went in full pass the last couple of days, so let's hope. He's ready for game on Sunday because of that will. That's going to be huge for my fantasy team, getting him back. And it's going to be huge going up against Tennessee Titans because he can go out there and just be himself with them. Which he's going to be himself. So, if that happens, then Tennessee City is going to win. Tennessee City is going to win either way. But ha having Pat Mahomes back is going to be big. Then we got Falcon versus Saints. Falcon is 1-7, the Saints is 7-1. 
I think Tank's gonna hold off the Falcon and make them one and eight. Then we got the New York Giants and the New York Jets. Both of these teams, Buffalo beat both of these teams. They're not that good this year. Um, I don't know. This could, this could end up in a tie because I don't know who's gonna win this one. This is gonna be a tough week for both of these. Um, one team, it might be an easy, easier week, but both of these teams, even though Buffalo beat both of these teams, this is gonna be a tough week for Giant and Jet showing up. And they're both playing at home pretty much. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. Like, who's home and who's away? They play in the same, same, same stadium. Then we got the Tarno versus the Buccaneers. I don't, another low throwing game, I don't know who's gonna win. I think Tyler Murray's gonna get his fourth win of the season. Or it could end up in a tie because both of the teams are, are dead, just like the last game. Doing eh, alright. Then we head into the Miami Dolphins versus Indianapolis Colts. Dolphins won their first game last week? Yeah, I think they won their first game last week. So they're 1 in 7. They're not doing that good. Indianapolis Toad is doing pretty amazing. I'm thinking I'm gonna piss the Indianapolis Toad to win this one. And then we had to see the Panther but the Panthers. This is gonna be a good game. Good matchup. Good matchup. Um, I kinda want the Panthers to win because my friend is a Panther fan. But Panther, you never know with them. They have all the fifty play of this league. You have no idea how they're gonna be at. Then you got the Los Angeles Rams versus Steelers. This is gonna be a good matchup, actually. This is gonna be a really good matchup, and I think the Rams gonna just come out on top. Bill, it's probably gonna come down to the last quarter. Um, either team can win. And honestly, I don't know who's gonna win. Both of these teams are in the middle of the pack. They're both average this year. Where am I not doing that they're just like they did last year? They're taking a step back. I don't know why they're taking a step back, but they're taking a step back. Then we got the Viking versus the Cowboys. Now this, um, I kind of want the Cowboys to win, I mean to lose, because Buffalo played them at the end of the thing. Uh, November with the Buffalo and Cowboy are playing, playing on Thanksgiving in Dallas, so I kind of want Cowboy to lose. But this is going to be a good matchup between both of these teams. I kind of want the Vikings to win because I have a fantasy player on the Vikings on my team, so I kind of want the Vikings to win. But it's going to be a good matchup. And then Monday Night Football, we got the Seattle Seahawks, which is 7 and 2. And now we got the last undefeated team in NFL season this year, which is, from all, the 49ers. It's the last undefeated, undefeated team in, in football right now. What? And it's a Monday night. They're just gonna, I think 49ers gonna beat the Seattle Seahawks. Monday night, I think 49ers gonna win. They're gonna go to 9 0, and they're gonna still be undefeated. The only undefeated team. So, that is week 10 of NFL. I hope you enjoyed the pick and that football Sunday review for you guys. If you have, comment down below what team you want to win or if you agree with me. And then give this video a big thumb up if you liked it. And with that, have a happy weekend and a happy Monday if I don't see you until next weekend. Um, but pretty soon I will be putting up a video daily with vlog missions coming up so stay tuned for that you do not want to miss. And I might be staying daily after the first vlog mission too and just do daily videos. I might be a week behind though. Like, they would, you would still do the video every single day, but I might be a week behind, so it would give me time to edit, but we can make the rules. Stay tuned. Um, but that won't happen until after Christmas, because Vlogmas, I'm gonna 
upload it the night before. So film the, the one day and then upload it the night and then there you go. But that, that's the whole point of Vlogmas is putting your video up the same day pretty much or the next day. Um, so stay tuned for that. And remember, find your magic moment die. Believe in yourself, be true to yourself, and you are worth it. Remember that. You are worth it. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. Find your passion and just take your passion to the next level to where you can have fun in life and make a career out of it. Because we live in a perfect time right now that you can do anything you want at a career. You just gotta be willing to put that mindset on and work your butt off. And if you have that, don't do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Find your magic moment. And we will see you in the next video. <laughs>